hey, am I too close? Like, can you see everything in my face? Oh, well, anyway, I'm going to do a review on this webcam. Let me roll my intro real quick. Hey, what's up? My name is Alan. Today, we're going to be looking at the Creative Live Cam Sync 4K or V4, whichever one you want to call it. It is in this box. And let's first go through the unboxing. All right, so in front of us is the box Live Cam Sync 4K and its features. This is the side of the box and this is the back. Upon opening the box, we are greeted with, of course, the webcam itself. But hey, we're not going to take a look at it just yet. Make sure there's nothing else in the box. So we just get Smart Comp Skit paperwork and then the manual for the live cam. That's it. And then we got the webcam itself. The Creative Live Cam sync 4k it is a pretty mouthful webcam name and um yeah it's actually pretty good this is it it has a lens cover all plastic it has two toggles on top the light compensation and then a toggle mute and unmute button for its microphones which we are not going to be testing in this video so just giving you a heads up down there you got the quarter inch adapter and a 1 8 adapter for if you're trying to screw it in a tripod or a camera stand. So um, yeah, let's take a look at the quality. So this is our first look on the Creative Live Cam 4K or V4, whichever one you want to call it. And this whole video will be recorded on 4K and rendered at 4K at the highest quality that I am able to produce. So you can see the full quality of this webcam since it is on 4K and also this is the default settings right out of the box. I didn't do anything. I pressed default settings on OBS and this is the camera quality that I got. This is just a comparison to the Logitech C920 and this is the whole default settings of how it looks like. Oh yeah, I'm going to have a full comparison between the C920. So watch out for that video. It's going to come right around three days after this video is released. It's going to do all the stuff, the low light, the focus whatsoever, but I'll focus on the creative live cam 4K for now. Now, of course, the C920 has autofocus. If I just have something uh, for it to try to focus on, of course, it's not going to want to focus. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. It did focus. It has autofocus that is extremely slow. The 4K, however, the Creative Live Cam Sync doesn't have any proper focus function. So if I put anything close to it, like you can see it, of course, but it's not on focus. How to focus this camera, you might ask? Well, you can actually go and try to adjust it by rotating the actual lens, like on a proper camera. The thing with it is, it's not really a proper camera, isn't it? So it's really hard. But the focus range is pretty. Let me try to get it on focus. Let me try to get the panda on focus at least. Okay, I can't seem to get the proper focus for the panda, but you get the point. You gotta adjust it literally manually by rotating the actual lens. Webcam has this thing as kind of like an option. You can download the smart comps kit. And once you download that, you can edit the brightness contrast whatsoever of the live cam. But it actually does not do much favor for you unless you actually use the microphone of this webcam, which I would not. Why? I'm not going to do any comparisons of microphones in a webcam because webcams should be webcams and they should stop putting microphones in so they can fit a larger sensor, make it a better build quality whatsoever, but just remove the microphones and webcams. A lot of people has headphone microphones, a dedicated microphone and webcam microphones will always suck. And if you do want to hear this webcam, how it sounds, a lot of videos on the internet already. So what I'm going to provide here is quality of the actual camera itself. So yeah, let me actually head on to my PC and show you how I'm going to kind of edit this webcam right here. All right, please don't mind my hair. But as I was saying, we're going to head over to the PC and actually show you the settings that I have now, because you probably noticed 
this part of the video is kind of like way ahead to the future because it is it has been a month since that last part of the video was recorded so i actually found my settings that i want for the webcam and it looks and feels much more natural now let me head over to my pc and show you exactly what i did so there you go we are on the pc right now we are on obs and this is on the cam 4k native live cam sync 4k and let me show you my settings now yeah here we go resolution of course i'm hitting that 4k so i can zoom in all the way without getting anything weird without artifacts without blurring it out keep it sharp even on very zoomed in especially just on 1080p if you're just streaming and doing some light breaks now video format color space color range are on any and default but most of the settings comes into the configure video tab right here what are my settings my brightness is on zero contrast is on 32 default the hue is changed and naturally moved to 14 because that actually gives a much accurate coloring on let's say my skin tone the bed and the curtain uh, that's why we are keeping that setting also on the sharpness stays on three because four is too sharp saturation is actually dragged a bit down because it was too saturated on default the gamma is on 130 white balance is on 6 4 10 because i want it to be a tad bit more warmer and actually is more accurate in real life at least for me but you can set it to auto it does a really good job here let me show you real quick this is the camera right now on auto this is it on my own settings i just want to keep it like kind of more consistent in a way that's why i just keep it on 6 4 10. gain is on 50 and then backlight composition is on 8. my camera control exposure is on negative 5 that's why i have my gain on 50 because if this is set to zero you cannot see me anymore that's why i have it set on 50. and if i put it all the way up although bright you can see much more green and it just looks a lot laggier now so let me put it back to 50 and we are good uh, that's my settings then also this webcam has really good build quality even though it's all plastic and it's very light you know you can actually mount it anywhere because it's that light and it feels like if you ever drop it it's actually not going to be broken again you have that toggle switch on top which is the backlight compensation just so if you don't want to go to obs or if you're on zoom or just whatsoever and you just want to get your lighting done quickly then you can just press that button multiple times until you get the one that you want right um without having to use any other software which is actually pretty cool but my verdict for this webcam at least for today in this recording of the video is that it's a little grainy i'm not gonna lie it's a very grainy webcam but if you have it set 1080p at 40 fps it looks much more smoother now but the grain kind of goes away but you also get a bit more blurriness that is why i still stick with the 4k there you go see the quick difference right there of the graininess but uh yeah it's your choice really uh if you're just streaming it and you're not really using it for youtube content you can clearly just have the 1080p version then that would just do you good but if you want that sharpness and you can denoise post-processing on premiere pro or after effects then i think the 4k option is really good the pricing as well the price is up on the screen compared to the c920 i'm comparing it to the c920 because c920 is kind of like the webcam for starting out streamers and whatsoever i just want to give you the best honest thought thank you so much guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to hit that like button subscribe share this video with your friends and have a nice day